My son, Red. Baby Red. I'm so proud of you. You have selected a beautiful person with a big heart and a big family. You know? And so I'm really proud of you. I'm proud of both of y'all. I hope y'all have a great life. And I know you will. Because Casey won't let it go any other way. <laughs> so as long as you say yes, ma'am, or yes, dear, it'll all work out fine. So it's like when you're a kid and your mom says you can have your best friend sleep over on Friday. She sleeps over every night. It, it's a story of love, sacrifice, devotion. It's a story that you live and people take notice. It's a story where, Rhett, if you're blessed with children, show your children every day how much you love their mother. Casey, you show your children how much you love their father. And if you do that, everything will be fine. So what is love? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. You should, you, you, come on. We're, we're a loving group. We're all family and friends here. Give it a shot. What is love? Her. Ooh, ooh, good answer. Rhett says, her. Mm, give him a hand, give him a hand. Casey, you want to weigh in? Best friend. It's my best friend. 
Beautiful, beautiful. Give her a hand. Notice that neither of them said, it's just this feeling you get when you're around them. It's just these butterflies when they enter the room. Love is not me, it's them. Love is complete selflessness. It's this gift, it's the other, and it's not me. And if I don't have love, I keep all this for myself and I have nothing. But if I have love, meaning I'm giving everything to this other person, I have everything, everything. That's, that's so important for you guys to understand is that perfect love saves the world, saves the world. The perfect love of Jesus Christ, the perfect love of Jesus Christ saying, he said, it's not me, it's you, it's all for you. Everything for you, literally every part of me, I'm gonna suffer all of this because I love you so much. And what did that happen? What happened? He redeems the world. Isn't it amazing that the impossible task of marriage, it really is, to, to perfectly love another human being for as long as we both shall live, it's, it's, it's somewhat impossible because I am imperfect. But he takes what is impossible and he makes it so possible by his love that it actually saves the world. So think about this. You are here right now. You're here in church, you're at mass, you're before the altar, you're before God, and you're about to become one. And every single day you come to mass after this day, you are before the altar, and Jesus says, the body of Christ, my body, given up for you. You receive from him the love that you need to give to each other. You receive from him the love that is no holding back, that Jesus, he didn't even hold back a single drop of his blood, not one drop. He gave it all to you hoping that you would choose him, hoping that you would see his gift and receive him, and hoping that you will receive that gift for your marriage so you can live what you receive. And so we pray for you that it comes to be. And I pray that you always remember that every choice in love from this day forward, it affects me too and every one of us here. And when you choose each other in love, the world is changed forever. I read. I read. Take you, Casey. Take you, Casey. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days. Hi, Casey. Hi, Casey. Take you, Ray. Take you, Ray. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. It is now my great privilege to introduce to you for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Rhett Crouch. Go save the world.
first toast is going to be the Kenner Brush. 